Uh... Images of RPG Maker MV. Sophia? Uh, wait, start over, keep going. White room. Okay, apparently it's something that requires a password. Uh, can't I lower the volume? Okay, I guess not. Hey, you there? No. Lol. Guess what? What? Oh, woo. You know what's tomorrow? What? No. Tomorrow is our one month anniversary. Oh. Who are you again? You know I was gonna invite you over, but now I don't know. Oh, well. Sorry. Mm hmm. Okay. 6 p.m. You better be on time. That voice hurts to make. Hey! Glad you could make it. Come on in. What the fuck? Oh, this art style is unique. Oh my god, I wish the music was in there. Welcome to my place. Hope you like it. Ehe. <laughs> anyway, why don't I start preparing dinner? You go ahead and make yourself at home. Uh. So what? What ex? Can I? Are you joking? You're fucking with me. <laughs> okay. Apparently this is not a save. This music is so fucking loud. I don't know what it, how it is on stream, but Jesus Christ. This drawer seems to have been repurposed as a shoe rack. Oh, toilet. A fairly faded bathroom sink. You don't need to use this right now. I like how, like, when he looks here, he's just like completely done with life. When he looks here, it's like, oh, you know, this isn't too bad. The shelf is. Filled to the brink with different books. Just from a glimpse, they look complicated. It's a drawer. There's probably tableware somewhere. It's locked. Uh, hold on. Let's actually check what's down here before we talk to that guy. You don't want to snoop around too much. Amazing. Question answered. Oh, gee. It smells burnt. Don't startle me like that. What? No, no, I don't need any help. I have everything under, under control, hee <laughs> hee. You just go ahead and wait for me in the living room. I'll be right there. This trash can is empty. So, what exactly do we do in the living room? Do we go backwards then? Bathroom maybe?
This music is hurting my ears. Like it is painful to read, to listen to. Uh. You're not sure if steam is supposed to be this color. Don't want to snoop around too much. So, what do we do? Not like there's anything to do. Wait here until dinner? Oh, okay, I was supposed to talk to the table that's taller than me for some reason. Sorry for the wait. You end up eating instant ramen. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't make you something more fancy. Sophia's going to kill me if she finds out. Who's... who Sophia is? She looks after me while I while my parents are on their trip. I thought I told you before. It's too bad she isn't home tonight. She really wanted to meet you. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure she'll love you. You are you are a sweet, handsome and talented guy. Don't give me that look. We both know you'll be super famous real soon. Hehe, <laughs> I'll always be your number one fan, though. After fi after finishing your meal, you clean up after yourself and head back to the living room. Let's go upstairs. I'll show you my room. So this is upstairs? Yeah. A closet, not your favorite thing in the world. A few books are start are stacked neatly on the drawer. This isn't the time to read. The drawer, you, you don't have any reason to open it. What's oh, this is his room. What the fuck are the other doors for? This is my room. Wow, I'm so nervous. I know, I know. It's the book that you've been meaning to read once B.O. is done with that. It's an old school TV. Do you want to play a game? Sure. Come here, you. I've got you cornered now. Bam. Hehe, <laughs> you died. One more, one more. Play a few more rounds. For fuck's sake. That was fun. And I'm not just saying that because I totally whooped your ass. It is my most played game though, so I so no need to feel bad. It's a picture of you and FBI on your first date. Uh, it's a big bear. It has a very calm face. Do you want to head to bed? Let's stay up a little longer. Sure. Let's go see what else is... Okay, it's locked. I think that goes for the rest of the rooms as well then. Oh, not this one. Oh, it's another bathroom. A fairly faded bathroom sink. You don't need to use this right now. Shara seems to have gotten a lot of use over the years. Thankfully. It's locked. Okay. Oh shit, we can run. Oh, thank god. You want to hide the wind? Sure. 
All right, I'm pretty pooped as well. You had into bed. Crawl. Oh, good. You're still awake. You're still awake as well. I'm so glad I finally got to invite you over. Sometimes I wake up and I think that I just made you up in my dream. For a moment I get really sad. But tomorrow I won't have to worry about that because I'll wake up next to you. Hehe, <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll visit each other in our dreams tonight. Do you believe in things like that? I see. You didn't really strike me as the type anyway. Personally, well, I want to believe in it. Things like soulmates and connections, maybe even fate. I'm just a helpless. I'm just a helpless romantic, I suppose. Oh, I don't believe in horoscopes, though. They've always lied to me in the past. You're alright, we should try to sleep now. Good night, love you. Closing your eyes, you slowly drift off to sleep. You are awoken by a strange noise. The bed next to you is empty. It's an old school TV. It's locked. Probably faded bathroom stink. Still locked. Right, I forgot I can run. Not your favorite thing in the world. Bia is nowhere to be found. You decide to head back to bed. The sound... The sound seems to have come from the living room. Oh no. Before you lies the fuck. All you can do is stare in horror, wondering if. Oh, for fuck's sake, but no good. Zent. Sophia? And here's your share for the evening. Uh... What? Don't tell me you expected more. Huh? I didn't. Don't make me laugh, and no name like you should be glad to be given anything. Just being real with you, kid. I know your kind comes to the city expecting to make, a, make it big immediately, but that just ain't how it works. Right. Whatever. My advice is clearly wasted here. If you're done here, Scram. 
I didn't even say anything. Um. Oh, it's you. You already did show up, huh? Of course. It was great. So, don't let that mini get to you. You must have heard it. You must have overheard us just now. Thanks, but I'm fine. Got some pretty thick skin. So that means you'll keep playing? Yeah. Good. Thanks for, again for inviting me. Um. Mm hmm? Do you have any plans right now? Nope. Why? Well, if you haven't had dinner yet, we could go and get some. Only if you want. I'd love that. You must have fallen asleep on the train. I wonder how much time has passed. Your stop must be coming up soon. Hey, glad you could make it. Come on in. Don't tell me the day just reset. Welcome to my home. I hope you like it. <laughs> anyway, I'll start preparing dinner. You go and make yourself at home, which I'm. What's this? I wasn't there before. Oh. That wasn't there, but... Oh! Wait! This... Is where... That motherfucker's brain was splattered. Oh boy. Smells burnt. What, you startled me. There's something there. Huh. Don't want to snip around too much. It's locked. Then maybe in the bathroom that'll be something. Okay, maybe not. Okay. Sorry for the wait. I can't get enough of this stuff. Yes, yes, I know it's unhealthy. Sophia always throws my cup ramen away and gives me a lecture afterwards, so I get to hear that a lot. So how does she keep figuring out my secret hiding spots? One day I will get back at her and revenge all those wasted noodles. Throwing good food away is equally as bad after all, don't you think? Well, good thing she's not here today. We get to eat all the junk food that we want. Ugh, fine. We'll eat more healthy next time. After finishing your meal, you clean up after yourselves and head back to the living room. Let's head upstairs. I can't wait to show you my room. Wait, were we not in the living room? <laughs> Oh? A scratching on the wall. In the closet in the hall. Okay, well. This is my room. Sorry, it's a little messy. It's the book that you've meant to. Uh, a vase full of flowers. A few petals have started turning brown. Oh. Oh. You want to hit the bed already? Okay. Hmm. 
an old school TV. Do you want to display some video games? Sure. Well, no fair. You totally got lucky with that shell. Oh. Hehe, <laughs> it's payback time. Ah. Uh, that slope completely caught me off guard. Oh, I lost. You're really good at this. But next time will be my victory. Play a few more rounds. That was fun. We should definitely play again sometime. Even though I lost most rounds. You better teach me your trick sometime. The better ready? Yeah. Sure. I'm also pretty tired. Crow? Are you also having a hard time falling asleep? Oh, now that I think about it, you've mentioned that it takes you longer. Do you ponder a lot? Me? I don't have much to ponder. Sometimes I stay up reading something super exciting before bed and I, then I keep thinking about it and I can't fall asleep. But I know that's not the same. If there's something on your mind you want to talk about, let me know. I'll never know what it's like to be in your position, but I still want to support you as much as I can. I know you're a strong person, but if there's anything I can do to lift your burdens, I want to do it. So, um, let me know, I'll be there. God, this voice. Why am I doing this voice? <laughs> That reminds me, I still haven't finished that book. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done, promise. You're a lot more tired than you realize, yeah. This is just like me, for real, for real. Closing your, eye, closing your eyes, you slowly drift off to sleep. You wake up in the middle of the night to a slight headache. You decide to go fetch a cup of water. Oh, he's there. Doesn't say anything about the puddle here? Guess not. After drinking a cup of tap water, you feel a little better. What's this? Oro? Fear is nowhere to be seen. Something about the situation seems seems familiar to you. You have a feeling you should go look for him. Not here. It's locked. Okay, maybe here. Oh, wait, there's a drawer built into the sink. Take a look. Sure. Clean utensils and hygiene products in the drawer. Okay, I guess. It's locked. Seems like the door isn't locked by a key, but rather some sort of padlock. However, you don't know what the code could be. There are dusty coats and scarves in this closet. They look like they haven't been worn in years. Take a closer look. At a glance, these books seem to be biographies based on different psychologists and philosophers. Open the drawer. Upper drawer. Variety of hats, scarves, and no, they're all, they're all gray. They are little dinosaurs. 
there are little dinosaur toys in it. Okay. It's locked. Yeah, I know, I know it's locked. God damn it. There we go. It's a picture of you and Theo. Why don't you just take this picture again? Open drawers, yes. So called t shirts. Uh. Open drawers, filled with cutlery, lower drawer, small tools, rubber bands, and batteries. What the fuck? Where do I go? Open the drawer, uh, shoe polish, bucket umbrellas, and the flashlight. I swear I checked every single drawer. Did I just go to sleep? <laughs> I guess I do. You decide to head back to bed. You're probably just seeing things. Or so you tell yourself as you slowly doze off again. Okay, never mind. I don't think I was supposed to go to sleep. The end? No, 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 no. They just closed the game. <laughs> no, no, no. There is, uh... Uh, okay, yeah. Surely there's more. Uh, what did I just press? Fuck, wait, go back. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. um. Fuck this. Keep going from this auto save. Oh, okay, perfect. Glad that the auto save is there. to be seen. Seems familiar. So what exactly are we looking for? It doesn't look like keep us some sort of padlock. Don't know what the code could be.
No. This for flowers, if you pass I turn brown. Uh What's for TV? Open the drawer. I didn't even know there was a drawer. But oh I need a code for this too. Okay. Oh. What? You already went. Oh. Don't tell me that's what I was meant to do before doing anything else. Okay. So, it's too dark to make out any of the contents. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> stop throwing away my snacks. Stop buying them. <laughs> oh, open the drawer, shoe polish, pocket umbrellas, and a flashlight. You can think of somewhere this flashlight would be of use. No batteries in the flashlight. Okay, I can't leave. Uh, I do remember seeing. Oh, it's this one. Batteries. Okay. The batteries seem to be old. Giving it to the faintest of flares should be able to use it sparingly. The shelf is filled to the brink with. Different books. Just from a glimpse, they look complicated. Most of the books seem to be evolving, evolving around theories on human psychology. One book sticks out to you as the exterior is remarkably worn, to the point where some of the words on the cover have completely faded. Deja vu? I've just been in this pl- no. Um, the use of electrical impulses to... Author Dr. Marilyn Manson uh, may believe deja vu to be subconscious memories provoked by similar past events. Another theory states that deja vu are the result of an electric malfunction within the brain, wrongly appointing a current memory as a past memory, therefore creating dissonance in the recipient. After collecting data from a vast pool of test subjects, it was found that the electrical pulses of some recipients could be measured during the occurrence of a deja vu. There was a trend linked to a traumatic experience, uh, linked to traumatic experiences and negative emotions within the test subjects that enabled these impulses. Furthermore, after artificially replicating those impulses within the qualified te test subjects, some reported new memories of events they couldn't have witnessed. Some researchers claim that these memories are pr fuck. My research showed that this is where the book ends. It appears as if someone carefully removed the remaining pages. Oh. Oh, right there. It seems... 
you see that one of the books is about Marilyn Manson. Uh, was a renowned researcher in the field of psychology. This book documents the post-war life as a researcher and mother of five. Different cute arts and crafts project. Seems like it stores more complicated books somewhere else. Okay. It's locked. Mm. So what exactly? Oh, a padlock. So I can... Nothing happened. Is it the day of the anniversary, maybe? Oh, 204, maybe? Didn't think so. It's the opposite. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. Um, oh. Take a closer look. Seems biographies based on different psychology paths. Um, 1928 to 1989. Mother of five. 1928. Let's try... 1928. Uh, what was the other day? Nineteen eighty nine. Padlock open. Okay, so it's nine eighty nine. Guess I can't interact with anything in this room aside from this one book. There's a single red book, an otherwise empty bookshelf. You wonder if it should even count as such with the outrageous lack of books. Judging by the contents, this book <sighs> seems to be sort seems to be some sort of journal. The author is listed as Dr. Clara Carter. 1910-1988. There has been no significant progress made in the past years of Dale Jenkins uh, has appointed uh, in the past years. So Dale Jenkins has appointed me as the new head researcher. The team seems vastly incompetent aside from Jenkins and his wife Sophia. Especially Sophia seems to be of bright nature. She will be useful. 2201-1989. There's still little to no progress, although the theory is working. We haven't been able to secure any suitable test subjects. Dr. Johnson's theory was based on human subjects. As scientists, we have no use for a moral code. 
If we don't start testing on humans soon, this project is sure to fail. I will not let this happen. 304, 1989. After a streak of failures, we may have just hit our breakthrough. It appears that the perfect test subject was right under our nose the whole time. 2006, 1989. The experiments aren't as consistently successful as we need them to be. Has something happened? I don't understand. What isn't adding up? Seems like Sophia is still unaware of our, of our testings. Perhaps I overestimated her. However, this is the closest we've gotten. I mustn't give up so easily. This is where the journal ends. There is a photograph stuck between the final pages. Oh. Oh. There's a sticky knot on the back of the picture. I need the space under the bed, so I put your journal here. Dale. Look under the bed. There is a box under the bed, stuffed to the brim with paper. Most of it are complicated documents based on some sort of government-funded research project that you lack context and field research and field knowledge to understand. There is a letter within the documents. Jenkins, I'm sorry to write you in the time of mourning. However, this outcome is plain unacceptable. These morons wouldn't know what a breakthrough, what a breakthrough is if it broke into their home and dropped on their simple-minded heads. Excuse my language, but it would simply be, but it is simply outrageous that we've been put on hold. We may have lost viable source. However, we can build upon the data that has already been collected. And lately, I've been thinking, if it is so hard to find a suitable test subject, may I be so bold to suggest that we create our own, not in love, but in the name of science? It may seem unethical, but I am willing to go this far if it is for the ideal guinea pig. Again, I apologize if this letter seems ill-mannered. While I do believe such feelings have no place when it comes to our field of research, I also recognize that it is quite unhealthy to ignore them. Before I end this letter, please know that I am very sorry for your loss. Sophia will be missed as, as a valuable co-worker and friend. May she rest in peace. And may I rest in peace. Hmm? Excuse me? Hmm? Huh? Aren't you the guy from before? Yes, funny running into you here. Yeah, I don't often come as often as I should, I suppose. Um, I don't mean to bother you, but if you're busy... I don't mean to bother you if you're busy, but why are you planning to rent that book you're reading? Huh? Maybe, why? Oh, I just... I've been trying to rent it for weeks, but somebody else always gets to it first. Oh well, maybe I'll have better luck next time. Take it, I can just rent something else. Are you sure? You already started reading it. Yes, I'm sure. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Don't mention it. Now you've helped me out twice already. There's gotta be something I can do for you too. It's alright. I insist. Is there really nothing? If you insist, you could come to my upcoming gig. Must have fallen asleep on the train. You wonder how much time has passed. Your stop must be coming up soon. Hey, 
Grudge can make it. Come on in. Welcome to my place. I hope you like it. Hee <laughs> hee. While I start preparing dinner, you go ahead and make yourself a home. Uh, a sparsely filled fridge, most of the items smell expired. Amazing. Oh man. God, don't startle me like that. Dinner didn't really turn out well, so I had to throw it away. Why don't you wait in the living room while I think about a plan B? Sorry for the wait. We end up eating instant ramen. Yeah, that was good. Sorry, I couldn't do any better. If only I wasn't such a klutz in the kitchen. I blame my parents for never teaching me. You know, you really seem ab- You seem really absent today. Got something on your mind? My parents? They're super busy people. And they are really strict. Apparently they do some research stuff, but I never get any of the topics they talk about. Father told me that he'd explain all that stuff to me after I turned 18. And then they just up and vanished on, on a world trip right before my 18th birthday. Can you believe it? Honestly, that really surprises me. My parents always act really cold with each other, so I never thought they'd go on vacation together. But yeesh, couldn't they have taken me along? This... this voice keeps getting worse and worse. <laughs> Seriously, sometimes I think they just had me... To, they just had me to see if... They'd make some kind of genius with their genes. That explained why they always treat me like a disappointment. Oh well, at least now Sophia is looking after me instead. She is much nicer to me anyway. After finishing your meal, you clean up after yourselves and head back to the living room. We already were in the living room. Let's head upstairs. I want to show you my room. Actually, let me check something real quick. Not that. Hmm. Still locked? Yeah, okay. This is my room. I feel like I've cleaned it not too long ago. I really don't understand how it's this messy again. I hope you don't mind. Phew, I'm glad. It's an old school TV. You wanna play? Sure. Actually, there's this really hard boss I've been struggling to beat in the game. Do you wanna give it a try? Oh. Watch out. Nice dodge. One more hit and he'll go into phase two. Whoa! Big crit! Just a bit more and you have him. You take, you takes you a few try, but you manage to beat the boss. And I thought I couldn't read. 
Yes. You have no idea how long I've been trying to procrast- Oh wait, I've been procrastinating this boss fight. Seriously, thank you. Alright, now go see motherfucker. Time for bed already? Alright, let's hit the sack. The fuck? You head into bed. Crow? Not sleepy either? You asked me about my parents earlier. Um, I know you mentioned it before, but what were your parents like? I'm sorry. I know you probably don't want to talk about them. It's just... It makes me so angry, you know? They had no right to kick you out for keeping a secret like that. That just proves that you had to keep it a secret, right? My mother had a really funny reaction when I told her I like boys. Please don't bother me with irrelevant information. You won't court anyone with the foreseeable future anyway, is what she said. Rude much? But you know, when I told Sophia that, I made a boy I made a boyfriend, she was really happy for me. There are still some good adults out there, I think. Alright, oh, I'm 18, so technically that makes me an adult too. I'll never be a mean adult though. Parents are just like the worst thing ever. <laughs> if I decide to move out, could I move in with you? Ah, it's probably a bit early to ask something like that. Forget I said anything. Good night. Pierre is sleeping peacefully. Seems like he doesn't realize what's going on. So he remembers everything. Already one. Hmm. Oh wait, holidays. Stop writing over the entire thing. Sorry. <laughs> wait. Oh no. Okay, never mind. I thought I saw something out the window. It's locked. Look under the bed. There's Mr. Oh wait, okay. This is. May she rest in peace. Oh, what? It's via smartphone. Oh, I'm supposed to hide. I think. Mm, okay. 
After leaving the closet, one of the closet floorboards has become loose. There was a key underneath. And Fio is gone. Okay, so I guess the key isn't for this. So it's probably for down here. Yep. Oh. She's gonna appear in the mirror. Absolutely. There's a light switch that next to the mirror. It's the first light switch you've seen in this house. You wonder if it's... If the rest of it is on a timer. Switch uh, switch light switch. Oh. Why the long face? You, you don't want to look at this a second longer. The tearing the poster off. See that... Something has been written with red liquid on the wall. It reads A1702. 1702. The drawers, they're empty. 1702. I think it's for this. It's for a smartphone. It's pin code protected. One, seven, or two. That was the incorrect pin. There is a message about above the pin input. First date, date, month, year. It's pin code protected. I think it was. Or no, 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 it was zero two oh four. Oh, okay. One seven oh two. Oh, yeah, first date. Uh, hold on. So two four. Oh, wait, is it two four ten or No. Date month year. Hold on. And then yeah. What is A1702? Like, what is it for?
Uh, Sophia. Oh. A one seven notes. Uh. So that's why. That's kind of smart. Uh, first day, date, month, year. I don't know. Just do this, I doubt it. Yeah. Am I stupid? Yes, actually, don't don't answer that. I know I am. Uh Don't know if I'm stupid or retarded or like some thing that's like even worse. Wait, it says it's two three ten. But like it was the fourth month. Hello, Crow? I'm sorry I made you hide in the closet earlier. I'm sure that brought back bad memories. Not in the mood for dad jokes? That's too bad. Wouldn't hurt to lighten the mood a little, would it? Now don't go hanging up. I'm sure you've been walking around aimlessly for some time now. I've prepared a present for you. It's in the living room. Now don't keep me waiting. Oh, and in case you were talk you were thinking about calling the police. We're surely past the point where I'd have to explain why that's a bad idea. Unless you truly believe that your future is in good hands with the government. Wow, it's a literal gift box. 
She's gonna pop out of it, 100%. There is a suspicious present on the table. Open the present? Why not? Oh, well, look at that. A weird gas came out of the present. You don't feel too good. Why am I not surprised? Hey there, cutie. Are you talking to me? Oh shit, are you a guy? Um, yes. Are you making a fool of me? Don't ignore me, asshole. How do you like that? Hey. Huh? Pick on someone your own size, coward. Do you really think you stand a chance, you skinny little twat? I'll flick off a l I'll flick off my little finger and send you flying. Haha. <laughs> sure. If you want to create more evidence that badly. Whatever. I'm done wasting my time with you nerds. Are you all right? Yeah. He just shoved me a little. I'm fine. God, what an asshole. Thank you. It was nothing. I'm just glad you're okay. Yeah. Oh, my fucking back. You must have fallen asleep on the train. That does not look right. You wonder how much time passed. Your stop must be coming up soon. It might be your last. Uh hey, glad you could make it. Come on in. That plant is dead now. Welcome to my home. Hope you like it. It's seen better days? Well, that's quite rude. You're lucky I love you. Seems like the guy already knows, uh, what the, what the fuck, why is stream elements, like, working, like, now? Oh, Crow, you surprised me! Seems like the ingredients I wanted to use are already expired. It would have turned out fine. Just wait in the living room. I'll go find something else to eat. Why did stream elements like reactivate? Wait. Oh! This... This is open? So, can we explore like... Okay, no. Should eat dinner first.
There you go. You're not touching your food at all. If you don't like instant ramen, then you should just tell me. Why aren't you talking to me? You're behaving really distant. I don't like it. Did I do something? I won't know unless you tell me. Talk to me. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry for getting mad. No, things aren't easy for you. I'm sure you have your reasons. Whatever is on your mind, I'll try to distract you from it. So whenever you feel like you're ready, talk to me about it, okay? To finish your meal, clean up after yourselves. I know something I'll cheer you up, we'll go play in my room. Call it my favorite thing in the world. Oh, there's some cracks there. So, okay, this is locked. This, also locked. Okay, yes, it looks bad. No need to say it. I really meant to tidy up before you come, but I forgot. Sorry. It's an old school TV. There's this game I've been meaning to play. Wanna play it together? There's one behind the table. Where'd that come from? Ah, over there. Shoot it quick. Whoa, so many guts. They made this game quite realistic, huh? Nice shot. Right through the head. Eh? Why'd you shut it off? Didn't you say before that you liked horror stuff? Why didn't you say that? Hmm. I think even before we started dating. Oh well, if you're not in the mood for it, then there's not much point to it. Let's just head to bed. And next time we can choose which game we play, okay? Hey Ali, how you doing? Uh, what's it gonna take one more person to get here? Uh, I don't... No, wait, what? Wait, we're at 299. Oh my fucking god. I didn't even notice. <laughs> wait, when did that happen? What? Literally, I thought I got shadow banned. I thought YouTube just said, like, fuck you, and just, like, just said, no, nobody is allowed to watch this. Only one left, it seems. My fuck, finally. Oh my god. I've been stuck at like 297 for like like the whole like since I went to Italy. Like since before that even. Like that like like it was not going up like ever. <laughs> you head into bed. Crow. Are you asleep already? I see. Well, good night. Crow. Just. Even if you fell under the weather today, I still had fun spending time with you. Hope next time you'll just have uh, as much fun too. Uh, words. I'm too tired for this shit. <laughs> I don't know where that accent came from. I just I just made up a random like <laughs> leafy. <laughs> Red needs sleep. Oh no. Hey Kayosu, how you doing? Uh I need sleep? Yeah I do. Uh, <laughs> I, I I do need some sleep, admittedly. Uh but uh I've only been streaming for 13 hours. 
out of 48. Fio is sleeping peacefully. You almost envy him. Alright, where's this bitch? Get over here. Take a look. Okay, I don't think I need to look in there. Okay, so the mirror doesn't do anything anymore. 35 hours left. Gonna need a whole truck of Red Bull to pull that, to pull that off. Oh, don't worry, I got a lot of coffee. And a few beers to keep my depression at bay. Amazing. Right, I think I need... Right, I forgot about this. It's locked. You unlock the padlock. Oh. Hopefully you won't need it again. Oh. Okay, so I... Yes. Okay, so I guess we don't need to go in here. This is the only locked room in the house. Do I need to check? Do I need to check Bill's phone. How did Phil not wake up from this? They hung up immediately. Hmm. Okay, not in here. It's locked. Oh, there's this again. Um, there is a suspicious present on the table. Take the present with you? Sure. Am I supposed to, like, open it somewhere specific? I guess so, huh? Maybe in here. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these fear is still there. Oh. Oh. Hold on. What does this mean? Hold up. upstairs I'm surprised he's still there by this point he'd already get his head cut off in here maybe no
are empty. Well done. So, one square and one something something. So I'm guessing it's like a piece of paper. And like you put it in like water. Or something like that. What the hell am I looking at? Uh, hold up. Uh, not that. So I'm guessing it's. So I'm guessing I put the present somewhere. I throw it in the trash where it belongs. Can I be a smart person and open it outside so if there's any sketchy gases, it'll just go into the atmosphere? Um... <gasps> there's an empty bucket you could use to submerge. Okay. The present in water. Take the bucket. Sure. It's too small to fit the present. Amazing. Okay. You have to use a faucet close to the container you want to fill. So this? Fill the bucket with water, yes. There's already water in your bucket. Oh. This trash can is empty. Fill it with water? Sure. Halfway filled with water. Okay, so it needs one more. It's filled with water. Put the present in the trash can. So it really does go in the trash. The water has turned red. There seems to be something floating on top of the liquid. You carefully scoop up a key with the bucket and discard the bucket afterwards. So that's for the bedroom. No, wait. Is it? No, this is... What room is this? Oh. A knife. Oh. Huh. Well. Now we know where his parents went. Two skeletons wearing lab coats. Those two must be... There is some kind of file on the table, but it is way too dark in this room to read it. Take it with you. Is he still there? Damn, he's still there. Okay. Uh, so we need the flashlight now, right? Or do we- oh no, wait, maybe- oh, maybe we don't need to, actually. Because we could just go into the room that has the, uh, light switch. There we go, yeah. <laughs> Subject name, Theo Jenkins. Born 10-12-1991. Sex male. Number of in- Inter- Interash- Interations? 284, uh, 2011, 2008, number of successes, zero. Damn, he really was a disappointment, fuck. <laughs> Poor dude. The subject seems to have developed, uh, seems to have developed into a balanced specimen, despite the emotional isolation, uh, and excessive testing growing... Overall, it appears that... Uh, the object is not suitable for pro... After multiple... It, iter iterations. The subject 
we have yet to establish a connection between the cognition. Note, there may be a way with a plan gen. Subject name. We don't know. Created 1420 sex in number of in inter in interations 52. 1008 uh, 2009. Number of successes 0. This iteration was created plan gen by putting subjects uh dna in creation pool as it's the only successful case so far we hope to recreate this success via this method however there have been no further progress project has been declared a failure is determined without further notice Bio seventeen. Does it read something backwards? <gasps> Bio, and then like B. It's like, what's like a, yeah yeah Theo, and what's what's the like the backwards B. You remember seeing a code starting with A before, but where? Oh, we just leave it here? Oh! There's a trapdoor in the floor. Since it's open, someone must have used it recently. Do you want to descend? Yes. Hold on. I haven't looked at everything just yet. It's locked. Okay, never mind. I think we have. It's locked. You can faintly hear the sounds of machines running. It's locked. There is a card reader next to the door. Okay. So never mind, we had to go in here. There is a suspicious looking folder on the table. Take a closer look. There are some documents inside. One page in particular catches your attention. It's titled Interations and their potential to replace the original body. Written by Dr. C. Carter. In this search paper, I will explore the current state of iterations and their future potential of substituting the original body. Evident to observations, iterations are physically and psychologically lacking when compared to their original counterpart. The body of an iteration stays identical to the original for a for a, a mere hours until there are vast mental divergences. As memories of the original remain with the iteration, it seems to focus on specific parts of its memory, often linked to the original's emotion at the time of it iterating. Furthermore, they are unable to act outside of their fixations and seem to lack a code of ethics. This strong change in character marks the iteration an unsuitable replacement or legacy of the original. However, combined with Dr. M.T. Johnson's theory on deja vus, there may be a way to connect the cognition of the original and its iteration, making its iteration into a vessel rather than an independent organism. I will dive further into this theory and how to achieve results in the second part of this paper. Cannot find the second part. However, you do find the key stuck between the last few pages.
Oh. You were automatically logged in as a guest. The guest account seems to be new. As there aren't any files you can access aside from the standard files. Those cabinets are filled with different documents. You couldn't be paid to go through all of them. This bin is filled to the brim with calendars. They are almost identical with only slight variation in contents written on them. They are all of April 2010. They're all the ones that we kept seeing. I kept changing every, like whenever we died. Okay, so the key is used for this. Oh, the music is getting creepy. Trash can is empty. It's locked. Probably for the better. Some sort of camera. It's missing the battery. However, the SD card is still in. Take the SD card, sure. And then we go to the computer. The guest account seems to be new. There aren't any files. There is an SD card reader built into the computer. Insert the SD card you found. Mm. Ah, she's waking up. Alright, camera rolling. Can you hear me? Huh? Dear, is that you? She can hear us? Great. Do you know your name? What? Dr. Carter. D Dr. Carter. What's going on here? Oh my god. Are you using me as a test subject? Carter, you better let me go or I swear to god. Now. Now. Now, uh, now, now Miss Jenkins. That wouldn't be very smart of me, would it? Dale! I'm sorry. You don't need to apologize. This isn't your wife. It's simply an iteration. But seems like its memory is lining up with Sophia's... Uh, Sophia's... It's lining up with Sophia's. Good, good. What? What in the world are you planning to do with me now? Well, I am hoping that next iteration you'll be able to tell me. No. No, Dale, don't let her do this to me, please. I'm so sorry. This is where the recording ends. There are two more recordings on the SD card. He's awake. Camera rolling. Hmm? Uh-huh? Can you hear me? Mother? What have I told you about calling me mother? S sorry, Dr. Carter. Um, why am I restrained? Say, do you recognize this room? Huh? No. Really? Nothing? Nothing about the situation feels familiar to you? N no This can't be... Ugh. Why are none of them recalling anything? Aren't we mistreating him enough? He's still too young, I don't understand. Calm down, Carter. Maybe it's about time we... No. Not after everything we went through to get this far. If we do this, then it'll... It will be the breakthrough of the century, Jenkins. You sound like a broken record at this point. Just admit it, it's not possible. It is possible. Sophia is the living... Well, dead proof that it's possible. Exactly, she's dead. Which is... Oh, I don't know. Just the entire opposite of the whole fucking goal and of this experiment. Don't use that tone with me, Jenkins. Sophia was indeed a failure, but in 
was indeed a failure in the end, but she showed us that it's possible. Maybe Theo just isn't quite genetically optimal, but that's nothing unfixable, no? You cannot be suggesting. You know exactly what I'm suggesting. Now get rid of this failure, I can't stand to look at it in a second, a second longer. Right. Huh? What are you... Wait, please, no! You close the file. Only one more recording. Okay, I guess that was the recording, huh? Search the top drawer. After looking through a few files, you find the key card. Okay, and it is this one over here, I believe. Something tells you that there is no going back once you enter. Well, yeah. Enter. Mmm, so good. They really make the best ice cream in town. Earlier I forgot to give him the voice and I think I was for the best. Next time you have to try some too. Right. Remind me to bring cash. Gee, I really could have bought one for you, you know. Not happening. I buy my own things. Ah, uh, there I go, my dreams of being your sugar daddy. Maybe one day you're on you earn your own money. Crow. Hmm? Do you ever think I'm weird? I get a lot of disapproving looks for the way I dress or the things I like. And I've always gotten mean comments when I've wanted to eat ice cream in the winter. What I'm trying to say is, um... Society standards are stupid. You're one of the good ones, Fiat. Oh wait, you're one of the good ones, Fia. Thank you. You too, by the way. Thanks. Hehe, <laughs> somehow it feels like it's us against the world sometimes. Sounds about right. Even so. I feel like we get, we could win against the world. But in the end, you couldn't win. At last. About time. I'm not getting any any younger after all, but I digress. Do you want to know what's in this pod? It's a bit of Schrodinger's cat, really. I'm sure you know how the experiment goes. Say, have you ever given up on something out of fear of failure? Whether this experiment is a success or not, this is the end for me. When my creators decided to hand in the towel, I, I resented them. I couldn't understand their motive. I destroyed them to keep this experiment going. I did terrible things to their son, and even involved an unrelated party. And all of it might have been completely pointless. Have you ever asked yourself how Sophia died? She was mur she was murdered by her own iteration. Until the moment of her death, she had no idea what was going on. 
even though her iterations were able to communicate with each other beyond their deaths, she stayed completely unaware of any of it. The point of iterating was to preserve someone's life, so she met quite an ironic end, wouldn't you say? Lately, I've come to romanticize this irony. Do you want to know why I took her name? I took on her name? Because I rejected the name my creators gave to me. They called me Icarus. I don't mind the name itself. It's only the meaning I resent. The one who flew too close to the sun. It's almost like they set me up for failure. I guess in the end, that's all I ever was. A failure. But you are different. You are special. You may just have what it takes to become a god. Perhaps you resent me. I can't fault you. I provoked it. I promise you'll get to put the final bullet through my head once the time comes. But until then, I want you to pass on... Wait, I want to pass on my work towards you. I will give you all my knowledge. You alone can give meaning to this research now. You know just as well as me that this is the only future you have. Crow's life isn't yours to live after all. Unless you choose to give this life back, I cannot make that decision for you. If you're willing to cooperate with me, has the cat already died? I wonder. In this world, what kind of future will you create? A long time later. Fucking. Thanks for the food. What's the plan for today? I've noticed that we started running low on food, so you'll probably go out today, right? I was wondering, maybe I could come along today. I know, I know, global pandemic and all. Damn, global pandemic. Damn, I thought this game was way older than that, Jesus. I feel bad for, like, for, for letting you do all the chores. Are you sure it's not a burden to you? Okay, if you say so. I hope this pandemic ends soon. I really want to go on dates again. Then again, it's only been a month, so I shouldn't be too impatient. Gotta give the government some time too. Oh. There are a few items in the trash can. This fridge is nearly empty. The few items you can see look like they were expired a long time ago. Open the drawer. Upper drawer. The cutlery. Okay, I think they say the same thing. Take care. Oh, and I know they're all sold out everywhere, but if they have some candy, make sure to get it. I don't even care about the brand at this point. Okay, I guess we're leaving. After putting on your mask, you step outside. You have a hard time breathing as the sharp material presses onto your face. But you do not have a choice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Global pandemic, my ass. What the fuck? <laughs> As breathing in any of the toxic atmosphere, atmosphere might kill you. Oh 
why is the Is this how is this how the story will conclude? If you find yourself lost, visit me in the white room. I was wondering about that actually. Hold on. Hold on, yeah. No, too blurry. Hold on. Let me try this again. There it is. Hold on, hold on. Let's uh let's just check this again real quick. White room. So two, wait, two, eight, two, two. But go back. Wait. Mr. Pigeon. Well, hello there. I am Mr. Pigeon. I am here to be of guidance and give you hints uh, how to see different conclusions uh, to the story without needing external help. Where am I? This is the White Room. It is intended to be unlocked after you've reached one of the many conclusions of the story. It serves as an in-game walkthrough as well as a teaser for the extended version of the game. What's up with this door? This door leads to the bonus room filled with extras exclusive to the extended edition. Of course, that also means that it can only be accessed in the extended edition. Um, I need help. Of course, how can I help you? How many endings are there? There are eight endings in this version of the game. There are two in the extended version though. So, please purchase it if you are interested. Hmm. I need help. Uh, how do I get them? Um. Would you rather have a vague hint and figure out the rest by yourself? Or do you want one that's more on the nose, so to say? Let's do on the nose. Attachment is an important factor. You could hire this affection by spending more time together maybe indulge in a hobby together before calling it a day however don't think you can just build a connection from spending time together once how we view someone will change depending on whether we spend time with them every day only on some days or never furthermore you have to put all the information you've been given to good use Maybe there is a little lock in the house yet to be opened. Lastly, sometimes it's important to take a moment and say goodbye to the people important to us before we leave. However, 
Some people will have trouble doing so if they feel too much attachment or too little. So maybe always spending time together isn't the right way to go. Hope these hints were clear enough. If you're still stuck, however, I would suggest using the walkthrough. Hmm. About the extended version. Thank you for the interest. What do you uh, want to know? Where can I get it? How much extra content is it? Where can I get it? Uh, you can buy extended version for two ninety nine USD uh, on the official itch.io page. Wait. The extended has two additional endings and a bonus room. Inside the bonus room, you'll find a lot of background information, an art gallery with concept art, unused uh, sketches with a, like without a with with a C, sure, and the short bonus comic, and after scenarios for three of the main endings. This sword cannot be unlocked in the free version. Please come back after purchasing the extended edition. Okay, well. We won't be doing that. Shh. Yeah, no, I, I... Don't think I'm gonna be getting the, uh, the other endings. 